Hello, hello! Okay, so we have another song today. I know, yes, uh, don't tell me, I know. I know you're missing Miss Tata. I know you're missing her. She told me, uh, you guys learned a song. I hope you were practicing this song. If you didn't, we'll do it right now, okay? So, but this time I need you to shake your hands, please. Get ready. Show me your hands this way. Okay, now I would like you cross your thumb fingers, okay? And you try to hook them, each other, so you can separate your hands. And now, flap. Oh, yes, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, we're flapping. Now, all the way up, all the way down. Yes, pouring on the sea. Yes, here we go. Flap, flap, and let's sing together. If I a bear could be, I should fly over the sea, far, far away. Man, snowy clouds in there, I should arrange in there, swifter than they. It's your turn, one, two, go. If I a bear could be, I should fly over the sea. Far, far away, made snowy clouds in there. I should go racing there, swifter than day. That was awesome. That was great. So with this song, as you can see, I have some words, and that was your work last time. Miss Tata told me everything, and she said you did an awesome job looking for her half note. You remember Bob? Bob sent me an email saying Mr. Martinez, uh, Mr. Tata is having a hard time looking for the half notes. So I sent this letter to Bob and tell, I told him this is a half note Bob. This is what we do. First of all when you see a half note you see the head of the note is not colored, it's not filled. So this is one of the elements of the features of the half note. And the other thing you need to remember is that she needs two beats. E, the half note lasts, lasts two beats. That's important. It means that you hold the sound down. And while you're holding the sound, you think wonder, but you hold the sound. Ta May you try with me? Ta yes, that's the other thing. The third thing is we say ta. So that's the way to know what is a half note. Three elements, right? The head is empty. Down two beats. And we say ta. Okay? Now, for the next activity, I need you go and get your guido. Yes, that one that we made some weeks ago. Okay, go and get it. Yes, you got it. I got mine. I have mine. I have a stick. Of course, it's a pencil and I have my guido made of a plastic water bottle. So yes, we scrape it down, we scrape, we scrape, that's the way we play the guido. Also we can tap on the guido. Yes! So that's the idea with this song. First we will try to follow the beat and sing the song. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, go. If I have been could be, I shall fly over the sea, far, far away. There is no clouds in there, I shall go racing there, swifter than day. Okay, 
the next step is that instead we scrape the beat, we will tap the rhythm of the words. It means every time we say a syllable, we sing a syllable, we tap. For example, if a or if I a bird could be, if I a bird could be, you see how my tapping matches with my singing? Yes, that's what I want you to. Let's do it slower, a little bit slower, and together. One, two, three, one, two, go. If I a bear can be, I should fly over the sea, far, far away. There's no clouds in there, I should go racing there, swifter than they. As you can see, we have some of those syllables in red color. It means that when you guys sing those syllables with the red color, you will scrape a long sound because, yes, because the half notes are present on those little words. And the syllable way and the word me the word I, and the word they, okay? So that's why when we say they, we scrape. It's a long because you need to hold the scraping for two beats. It's a half note. Let's try today together. One, two, three, one, two, go. If I appear to be, I should fall Okay, stay so here, we have more activities for you, music.